now. I know it's like he's been getting these messages, and I think the person has the wrong number, and I was going to leave them all. So how are you doing? Yes. Oh, that's good. and I just went out, I mean, just fell right out. I sleep. I don't know how to oh, get it. I'm going to figure it out. So. This heat, this heat just takes everything out of you. Well, how did we... Oh. Mm-hmm. week we're supposed to be in the 80s instead of the 90s. So that'll be a little bit. <laughs> you guys all right with me? I'm sorry, I just got upset and this has been going on since like maybe November, October. And I don't know what's going on with me. The doctor, you know, she's concerned about me. She wanted me to go to some counseling and then I started taking the CBD oil and I felt better, but then I quit taking it. I, I, it, it helps anxiety in the CBD. I think it is anxiety. You know, there's just been too much. And so I told her, I said, I'm thinking about telling the church next year. I would like for this to be my last year, but I'll leave as soon as they can get another pastor. It's just too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's my aunt. You hear him talking? here. I know. Yes. No, it's ridiculous. And you know what? He's he's just still being all petty and babyish about it. Said he's not going to come and, and all this kind of stuff. So now t I tried to go out and talk to him today because I wanted him to come out. But then I couldn't get them because they're not busy. So I called, you know, she called me back and I called her back then and I told her, you know, that I tried to call you know, I was going to come out. But, you know, I mentioned my family here and that I tried to go to the office and still not to come out to my here. I was hoping that she'd say, no, don't worry about it, your family's there. You know, but, 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 what? I don't know. I didn't bring it in here. And then, you know, we'll, um, so I'll go out there at three, but I'm, I'm not going to sit there and, and argue with it. You know, I, I'm going to tell him I will not let, I've already talked to one teacher about it who feels that way and, and talked to her and got her thinking a little different. And so I've just got to talk to the one that did it. But she won't teach again until the last Sunday of this month. So I told Tina, I says, I'm going to wait till my family leaves and then I'll talk to her. You know, it's, it isn't easy, but it's not you guys. And it's not the family. I love having the family there. Yes. <coughs> yeah, it can. Right. Right. Yes. I think one of the things that adds to it is my house is a wreck, you know, and that's the way it has to be when you're not when you're remodeling. But Lowe's is coming Tuesday to measure the floor and they said if the floor is in stock. It's just what I want to install because they probably can get it done in a few days. You know, they'll schedule and get it done. Which that's what the girls want to do because they want to help me get my stuff in there. You know. So, yeah. But anyhow. If you guys want to come over for coffee in the morning, I want to see uh, Jacob and Jada. <laughs> No, nope. don't have anything planned in the morning. I wonder where she was going for uh, What time you think in the morning for Robbie and Linda? Well, Crystal wants to be here too, so she has to leave at 9, right? How, how about 8 or a little before 8? How about that? 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because I'm going to go and we're all going to get our shower tonight, so we don't have to get up and, you know, freshen up and, and get our clothes on. So, okay. All right, we'll be looking forward to it. Okay, honey. All righty, we go by. Yeah, he called me. I'm glad. He said, no, he says, I understand. He told me, he said, when, when all them people were down there in Ocean City, he says, well, he thought he'd go crazy down there, you know. But I said, it's not the people. It's the difference here oh. is the house being. Yeah, but I said, that's the way it is. For that's you. probably the biggest thing because I, I know in our house, I mean, our house was tore up and we did all that mm -hmm. for like weeks and then you know, Rob would get upset, get tense because we're trying to get it going. You know, it can drive you crazy. Can, it can really be bad for you. Because we don't live like that. Yeah, you're not used to it. It's all enemies. So, but that's how it is. Hello. I was cleaning my bedroom. <laughs> I'm glad it was you. <laughs> not somebody else. Did you get a whole Ireland? Not yet. I was talking to Rob. Oh, okay. He was, um, oh, he's back to home and lonely. He was telling me that. He came home and there was no milk and <laughs> ate all the chicken pot pies. <laughs> so I think he's kind of happy that he's up here. That he won't eat it. Oh, yeah. He's talking about Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's good for the them to find out. It is. It's, they need to be alone every once in a while. Oh, Sabrina, that's right. There's hot pockets here and there if you're hungry. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I already had Medicare through the insurance. The insurance was probably paid for it anyway, I thought. But I don't know. But that's a shame if they're going to get sure. it. I know. I'm praying. Oh, I've been praying about it for like, he told me that a couple of weeks ago. And I've been praying. Please. Please don't let them do it to Well, you know what? You can't insist it. I'm not sure he had full coverage on it. I don't oh. know. I'm not real sure. I don't, I, I don't think I can say because I really don't know. I'm telling you, it, it, everything is so corrupt. It is. It's so corrupt. It's this so world is so corrupt. We're going to be like this. Yeah, we're going to run out of here. Oh, bless his heart. Well, we're waiting on Monday to see what. I was hoping he'd get some. Yeah, I was hoping he'd get a good And I just one. talked to Teeny, and I was telling her, you know, she, had, I called her. They weren't home. We couldn't come. It was convenient for us to come. Mm -hmm. But they probably didn't answer the phone because they were busy. Mm -hmm. And then she called back, and then we weren't home. So I told her, you know, we were out to boss cops. I said, oh, you cool. know, we're still working on my office, and my family's down. And she still wants us to come. Mm -hmm. You know, Robbie told me, he says, you know, he says, what happened on Sunday? He said, he said, he said, that was quite an anxiety. And it was. It has its cost me for many things on You know, but last night, when I laid down, I got his plan, and I told the Lord, he did cry, you know, because the Lord was helping me. I told him, I, if Harold has to go, yeah. If he needs to clean him out. You know, sometimes certain members, because of what they do, you want to keep them, will hire them out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or the Lord will bring somebody in. Yes, yeah. he will. He has a way. I am not. Yeah. Mm -mm. I need to go in and study a little bit. Um, yeah, I do need to study. Oh, they're going to come, and then, so we have to be out there by three. But, you know, if I get to study a couple hours in the morning, I'll be okay. Because what I'm doing, I'm taking the message that I preached when I first went there last night. I'm like, Lord, and that, that caught my eye for some reason. It's, it's about, I tell you, like, you know how your mirror says uh, things are closer than they appear. And I had done a message on that, but I was really young and even studying for church mm -hmm. i'm just going to take that message and add to it and and see what the, the like okay what when i was laying there last night the lord first gave me the scripture about i think is it peter where they say where is the promise of his coming people are asking you know well we've been here and you know we say we've been here we've been here that since i i was, we were kids he's coming anytime I remember Daryl Calvert, his parents inherited $500. Now, this was way back, like in the 30s or so. That was a lot of money. And here's what they did with it. They gave it to the church because they said, Oh, the Lord's coming back real soon. Why should we even spend it? And that's back in the 30s. I remember hearing that story. I don't know who told me that story. Well, I started eating. I remember the sisters with the uh, you know, Jesus is coming soon. That was a powerful song. Oh, yeah. Um, and we would get excited. We don't get excited.